Hey, yo guys, what up? This is Unreal Intake here, and today we are doing the final closure of this romantic, beautiful twilight of a story here. <laughs> so, it comes down to either me choosing my girl and sending her brother to jail, or taking her brother side and then I lose her forever. So, I chose both. And how did I do both? I said to um I said to her, Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever you want me to do and I'll do it. And then you know I gave her a hug. As soon as I gave her a hug, I gave the brother a wink. Like I was like, Yeah, I'm not gonna really listen to her but the brother didn't take it like that. He thought I actually was gonna send him to jail. And then he starts going crazy, he starts flipping fucking tables, throwing everything all over the place, he got all insane. And now I'm like, Okay, I don't wanna die today So <laughs> I told him, Er, you know what? No fuck, I'm not gonna listen to Melissa. I'm Melissa, you can't do that to your own brother. That's really fucked up. He was trying to help everything out. And you you just got to see, like, you can't do that to your brother. And then she was like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck my brother. I'm going to go back to my ex. I'm going to call him. And then, fuck you, blah, 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 all that shit. And then I'm like, what? I was like, what? Really? You're really going to do that? Come on. Like, come on now. Why? Why? And then, like, her brother told me, you know what, Michael? You know what? Fuck her. Because, you know what? She's been fucking you over on the pound of her back. She's been going over to her ex's house, you know, and, you know, fucking her, him and shit and blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, what? No fucking way. So then I was really pissed. I fucking... I yelled out her name, and then she was in front of me, and I was like, were you over Were you over your ex's house? And then she was like, yeah. And then I wanted to punch the living shit out of here. I made the fist the size of a fucking Guantanamo Bay. I just wanted to punch her so bad. But then I don't punch girls because that's not really good. So I punched the fucking wall, and I made a big asshole. And then, <laughs> and then she got really scared. I saw, like, I don't know, fear in her eyes or some shit like that. And then uh, fucking, I I don't know, I just hated myself when I was like that. And then, you know, she walked away or whatever. Everyone's fucking arguing. You know, the dad comes in and then he's like, the cops is on their way. All that shit, blah, blah, blah. You know, the mom is not there anymore. So all three of them are arguing. And then, like, I'm in shock because of what just happened to me. Um, what all the news has been saying is shit like that. So I, you know, I was like about to say, you know what? Fuck this place. Fuck everyone. I'm about to get my book bag. I'm about to just fucking leave. Just get out of here and just fucking go back home and call my best friend to call me. So as soon as I was about to do that, like fucking, um, her brother yells at my name and he's like, Michael, turn around, run away. And she got a knife. And then like she fucking charges at me with a damn knife. And she almost stabbed me, but, like, her brother, like, threw a fucking fan at her. And then she tells me to run. So then me and him ran out to the back. And, you know, we were in the backyard and shit like that. And then we don't know where the fuck she's at. So we are getting pretty scared. <laughs> I'm scared shitless. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. And, you know, so we ran out to the back. And then we didn't know where she was. And then... Her dad said that she's in the front. And then, you know, we went back inside and shit. I went to go to the bathroom um, for a little bit because I wanted to get all my shit. Because I left some um, some stuff, whatever, my toothbrush in, um, in her bathroom, whatever. So then as soon as I did, and then I hear a bunch of noise, like, coming out fucking in the front and shit. And then I keep hearing, like, my um, her brother outside instead of trying to call my name or whatever. And then, you know, it's, as soon as I got out of the bathroom, right there, she stabs me. I'm serious, guys. She fucking this dumb motherfucker, bitch ass, crazy bitch, <laughs> fucking stabbed me. And I seriously have the mark still in my stomach. So if if I ever see someone of anyone, I can show it to you. And yeah, it's really fucking crazy. That is one of the craziest girlfriends I've ever had. I had to go to the hospital, and everything's fine. Everything, blah blah blah, whatever. You got stabbed, nothing big, stuff like that. <laughs> But, yeah, I got cured. Obviously, she wanted, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, and you know, all blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, fuck you, you bitch, you fucking stabbed me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my romantic story. And then me and her got married. So, we've been together for three more years. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs>
Hell no. I would never fucking go out with her again. Fuck that. I have forgiven her because I'm a nice guy like that. And yeah, that's the wonderful story of how I met your mother. Alright guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next series. Alright. Peace.